This is Johan Gamble, and we're back playing Pokemon Crystal. Last time we got another gym badge, we're going to go take on Fuchsia City Gym. Yo, champion making, whoops, talk about good looks around you. The trainers all look like the leader, Janie. Which of them is the real Janie? Oh, isn't this what happened with the first Koga trick thing? Um, I don't know which one's the real Janie. Okay. I don't know, I get the feeling that maybe this one is. Foo -foo -foo. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm only joking. Wow, how did I guess that? I am the real Janie. Janie of the Fuchsia Gym, that's me. Okay, I didn't actually think you were the real one, so that's why I talked to you, because I thought I would battle you, but... Okay, I just skipped a ton of trainers, but then again, I'm fine with that. Crowbat! She has a Crowbat! How dare you have a Crowbat! Wow, it's only level 36? Jeez. I guess you're supposed to come here earlier, but still. Zap Cannon hit. Yes! Oh my gosh, it's so awesome! Overkill beyond extreme! Never trust Zap Cannon, people, but I... The only thing that I think he probably was probably gonna do is poison me, and I'm not too worried about that. Zap Cannon actually had. How awesome is that, viewers? Weezing! Stop smoking, Weezy. It's not good for you. Okay, well, let's just take this Weezing down with a Thunder Punt. I mean, a Thunderbolt. That should do pretty good damage. If not kill it, I mean, I'm pretty sure this thing's gonna die. Yeah, Weezings don't have very good special defense. They have better physical, they have good physical defense. Like, yeah, you know, Monk and Weezing are kind of similar. They're the, they're kind of the opposites of each other. Wow. Weezing has good special, I mean, well, Weezing has good physical defense. Um, Monk has good special defense. So, yeah. But well, they're pretty cool. But I still actually kind of like Monk better, even though he's a giant piece of poo. And his name is, and when you look at his name backwards, it spells a dirty word! It's a dirty word, it's a bad word, viewers! No, I don't know, I'm just joking. Okay, well, I'll just set your on fire. So, I counted all the badges we have, because I counted somehow, I figured it out. This will be our seventh badge, there's only one more badge left. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. Venomoth. Yeah, it's what's kind of cool about Pokemon Crystal is that you really don't need to go everywhere like you did in Pokemon Red. Because, you know, you had to get everywhere. But in Pokemon Crystal, you can skip a lot of things you don't want to. Like, a lot of trainers and routes that will just take you to other towns that you don't really need to go to. Because it'd just be more trainers. You're one tough one. You definitely want. Here's my soul badge. Take it. Soul, baby! Y'all received the soul badge. No, there's no the in there! I'm... Ah, receive soul badge. You're so tough. I have a special gift. It's toxic, a powerful poison that steadily saps the victim's HP. I am giving that to Tickle Feet. I'm going to really apply myself and improve my skills. I want to become better than both father and you. Oh, so, well, so is Koga your dad? So anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and teach toxic to, um, Tickle Feet. And, uh, what's really good about Toxic is that, um, its damage, um, increases every turn. So it's, so it's badly poisoned, so it's not just damage, damage. So you just get, um, it, it just increases, so it's very helpful. So that's really cool. And that'll be helpful against the Legendary. Let's just leave. Oh, we have to leave. That's pretty awesome, though. I was able to find the real Jenny in one try, and... That was completely blind. I'm being dead serious here. You probably you guys, you probably, you guys probably don't believe me, but I was being, it was blind. Uh, I won't even need to heal my Pokemon. Um, I guess I'll keep Lex in the front because yeah, Lex will be useful against the last gym. Jeez, I'm just blazing through this place. I think it's probably because I skipped a lot, but oh well. I like how the leaves appear. It's pretty cool. I think you can get Dream Eater from a guy over here. Yeah, I think you get Dream Eater from that guy. If I remember. Actually, there's one thing before I want to do real quick. Trainer House, the club for top trainer battles, before we go take on the gym. So is this the place I want to talk to? I think it is. They hold practice battles downstairs here. I would love to see how well trainer from Jodo battles. Hi, welcome to the training hall. You may battle a trainer once per day. Cal is your opponent today. Would you like the battle? Please go right through. You may begin remember. I don't really know. I think this is just to get some good experience off. Whoa, it's me! I traveled out here so just so I could battle you. Wow, um... What an honor, thank you. I didn't realize that was that awesome. So anyways, I'm battling myself. And, um, he has all the starter Pokemon. So, yeah. And it, yeah, they're all level 52. Not level 52, they're all level 50. 
So that's definitely the highest level I think we've faced so far, but I don't think these guys will give me too much of a challenge. I mean, they're good levels. I think this place is definitely a good place to train off if you get the chance to, because you can only do it once a day, though, which is the only problem. So, yeah. Aw, oh, darn. That's a bummer. Oh, and it used synthesis, too. Sneaky, sneaky. Fire punch. We're gonna have to remember to buy potions, because we won't have another chance to. Well, actually, yeah, we will. I still should buy some. Stop using synthesis! Wow, you regained very little health that time. And there we go, Meganium defeated. Level for Lex? Yeah, 2,000 experience. Those things give a good amount of experience. Nice. Uh, Typhlosion? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just bring out, um... Goron, why not? Goron could take care of a Typhlosion. I mean, if that thing has Ice Punch, that could be a no... Actually, Goron... Typhlosions can't learn Ice Punch, if I remember. So I don't really know what Typhlosion could actually do to Goron. It's kind of weird seeing Typhlosion on the other side. Oh, you still have Flame Wheel? Well, actually, yeah, I don't even have... Yeah, you don't learn the good... You don't learn Flamethrower until level 60, so yeah, I don't know what... Oh, by Burn! Darn it! Now, I don't know if I mentioned this, but Burn actually lowers your attack, I think. I don't know about how much, but it lowers your physical attack, which is very annoying. So, yeah. And it also does damage. Oh, but the leftovers healed off most of it, so that's cool. Oh, but I'm a faster. Okay, they must have the same speed, then. Because sometimes when, po when Pokemon have the same speed, they, like, it just randomly selects which one will go first. If I went first, though, I probably would have killed him. And for Alligator. Okay. Let's bring out Tickle Feet. Let's put Toxic on it in Solar Beam. Probably don't even need to use Toxic, but I want to. And Toxic is 100% uh, accurate, I think. Or, if it's not 100%, it's definitely a thousand times better than uh, pow Poison Powder, because not only is it badly poison, which increases damage over time, it also has way better accuracy, which is nice. And with that Leech Sheet, oh yeah, this would do a number. See, look how much more damage it did. See, it did a lot more damage. Yeah, this is gonna die. Unless it gets a critical. No, I don't even think a critical would help. But yeah, Toxic is so awesome. Boom, in your kneecaps. You are dead. Trainer Cow is defeated. I lost, darn. Uh-huh. I win. That was easy. Okay, let's just go ahead and heal up, and then let's go take on the gym. I just wanted to show you guys this place real quick, and, uh, you know, pretty good place to gain some levels if you need some. Which is always nice. I don't think I'll need them, though. Because, um, you know, even though the last trainer we ever face is extremely hard with this Pokemon at level 80, I think I can do it without leveling my Pokemon up. We're gonna see. I may have to. I'm probably gonna try and record it, and I'll probably fail, and then I'll probably decide to off-screen it. Till I level up. Or I get him to lose, but whatever. So anyways, now that we have been that just for fun, let's go ahead and go to the gym. And, um, let me see my Pokemon lineup real quick. Okay, let's put Rexton in front because he's gonna have, I'm pretty sure, a flying-type Pokemon out. It's either Gyarados or Pidgeot. Okay, whatever. Let's talk to this guy. Yo, champion making? How's it going? Looks like you're on a roll. The gym leader is a guy who battled the champion three years ago. He's no pushover. Give it everything he got. Yeah. Yeah, he was actually kind of hard if I remember. Yo, finally got here. Why is everyone to you? That's what I say. I wasn't in the mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. You're telling me you're, you've conquered all the gym badges in Johto? <laughs> Johto badges must be pretty pathetic then. Hey, don't worry about it. I know if you are good or not by battling you right now. Ready, Johto Champ? Yep. Well, actually, I already got all the Kanto badges, too, so Kanto must be pretty pathetic, too. No. Blue, you look more purple than blue. Okay, so I was right. Pidgeot. Has that Pidgeot gained any levels, really? I don't remember what level they were in, um... Actually, I don't think they were level 50. But dang, level 56, though, that is definitely a lot higher than my levels. Jeez. 
We're actually going up against someone who's competent, which is kind of scary. Huh, Miramoon? Oh gosh, Miramoon is right then punch is a special type. Okay, but you didn't get the paralyzation. I'm gonna burn you. Cook you. You look like a big old turkey. Chocobo, time to eat you. Oh good, for a minute I thought that was gonna kill us, but oh shoot, should I have just killed it, not showed off? Right on, yeah, um, bring out Lula. Hello, Ragnarok. It's kind of cool to actually be facing someone who actually could be a threat to me. Because everyone else was so low leveled. Okay, Surf, I think, should take you out in one hit. Or if not, really, really close. I don't see why I wouldn't, though. I mean, well, I don't know, because Lula doesn't have that high of special attack. You might survive. But then again, you don't have very good special defense. Yeah. Plus, that four weakness to it ain't gonna help you. Executor, yeah, I'm gonna switch out. Burping out Ludwig. This, actually, that's maybe not the best idea, because Executor is Psychic type. It's funny, we actually had a lot of the same Pokemon. We had Executor, and we had, um, Rhydon, I think. I think those were the only Pokemon we had in common, but still. Hopefully that kills it. I don't think it will, though. Executor is actually kind of defensive. Yeah, I didn't think it would. But you used an Egg Bomb. I like how the Egg like kind of creeps over to the Pokemon. It, like, takes its time. Ooh. Okay, use Fly again. Why do you keep using Egg Bomb? If you use a Psychic, you probably could have killed- Aw, oh, you had to do that. Okay. Let's just go for a bite. Yes! Good job. I was afraid that was going to kill him. But it did barely, though. Oh, Kazam. You know what? Why not? We'll just keep Ludwig out here. I know Ludwig's probably going to die, but there's no point in just switching, because... Yeah. Ooh, Ludwig is faster, though. They are the same levels, though. Or maybe they're tied. Ooh, yeah, that Psychic's going to hurt. I could use Giga Drain if Ludwig does survive, but it wouldn't kill Alakazam, so there'd be no point. Ooh. Good try, Ludwig, but not today. Let's bring out Goron. Let's just go use... Oh, okay. Come on, Goron, you can survive this. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Ooh, that was close. I want to kill a Goron. I should have used Earthquake. What am I thinking? Well, it still killed it, but still. Gyarados, yeah. I'll bring out Lex. Gyarados, Gyarados, here. Gyarados, Gyarados, swimming in the ocean. Shiny! I should go for Zap Cannon. No, I'm just going to go right for the Thunderbolt, because I know there's no way that Gyarados can beat it. Only it would, this battle would only be cooler if your Gyarados was shiny. It was a red Gyarados. Good experience. Arcanine. Um, if Gorn can survive, then you should probably die. Arcanine's pretty cool. Yeah, Arcanine's a cool looking Pokemon. I still kind of like Rabidash better though. Ooh, I don't know, Goron, this could be close. If Goron doesn't, I won't be surprised if Goron dies from this. Jeez, I'm actually having a match where my Pokemon are actually fainting. It's actually kind of funny. The Probably the most challenging match we've had in a really long time. Okay, wow. What, wait a minute, how the hell is Lula faster than an Arcanine? What the hell just happened, viewers? Okay, whatever, I don't care. I'm pretty sure Lula can take any hits Arcanine can have. I doubt it has a solar beam. Okay, use Roar. Oh, that's why I went before, because Roar always makes you attack second. That makes sense. Okay, whatever. Let's just go for strength. Ooh, it has extreme speed. Not very strong. The only really good, though, when you're... It's basically an upgraded quick attack, which is good, but only really good, you know, right when you're trying to finish someone off before they can do something. Damn it, I hate full restore. 
I should actually just go for Thunder Punch because I get the stab. I mean, no stab, but I get the special, which is better. And I could possibly paralyze it, so that's way smarter than doing just strength. It would be kind of cool. It would be cool, though, to see um, Typhlosion pick up a uh, Arcanine. What does strength look like in Pokemon PBR? I've actually never seen strength in Pokemon PBR. So I'm actually kind of curious now. I'll have to look that on YouTube. Never actually seen that. Ooh, unless this paralyzes, Rex Sonyers is going down. Oh, or unless I get a critical. Nice, Rex Ton. Oh, I beat you? Nice. Those guys for one? What? How the heck did I lose to you? Alright, here, take this. It's an Earth Badge. Yo, I'm. That should be all the badges of the game. Yo, I'm received Earth Badge. Yay! I think that's all of them. All right, I was wrong. You're the real deal. You are a good trainer. But I'm going to beat you someday. Don't you forget it. Okay, but you know what, though? I'm going to end the video here, and I'm, I'm going to meet you by Professor Oak, because he said he'd give us something if we get all the badges, and we should have them all. So this video, I'm Gamble. Thanks for watching. See you next time as we continue playing more Pokemon Crystal. Okay, bye then.